I actually can't move from where I'm stood because there is so much stuff. Good morning, welcome to our very dingy and very messy garage. We do actually have a new light fitting, which Dave did last weekend. Previous to that, we were using my photography soft boxes. So today's job is to completely sort and declutter and reorganise the garage. This is mainly a job that Dave's going to be doing, but I will be helping him out a bit along the way. Um, I'm actually taking the kids to a party this morning, so that gets me out of the job for a couple of hours. But, you know, garage sorting, soft play party is a tough choice. So I'm going to show you what our garage looks like right now. Our garage is not a full-size garage, it's part of the extension that we had built a couple of years ago and it is on the front of the house in the way that a garage normally would be but it's probably not even half depth. Um, I think it's kind of... I think my dad designed it so that it was basically big enough to fit the bikes in lengthways, if you see what I mean. Essentially it's like a built-in shed. So we go through phases of trying to organise the garage and get in somewhere with it and then ended up piling loads of stuff in it. So there's a lot of stuff in the garage now that's things like um, kids toys, toddler stuff that we've maybe saved for other people that then they've then not needed or um, camping things that have kind of got chucked back in at the end of the season and maybe not put away properly. Dave has several bikes, the kids have bikes, it just needs a good sort out. So I'm going to have you show you a little look around what it looks like now. Hopefully we'll film a little bit of the sorting out and then we'll be able to show you what it looks like at the end. Now the difficulty is I can't actually get any distance. If I just do a quick turn around on the spot, like this, there isn't actually anywhere that I can walk to show you anything. So what we've got here is a set of shelving units and I think that mainly has um, decorating stuff on. Uh, decorating things, kids toys. This is the, the bunting from our wedding. This coffee machine, as you can tell, has not been used in a very long time. There's a lot of paint down there. The lawnmower in that corner, which hasn't seen the light of day for months. Some camping things. Um, and then that's mainly DIY stuff, garden hose. So obviously that's a box of gardening stuff. DIY things. There's a lot of MDF here because Dave's busy making some shelves. So down on the floor in front of me, there's Ben's bike, some wellies, the tent. If I just turn around, we've got, uh, what's that? One of Dave's bikes missing its tyre after I had to rescue him in town. It's my sister's old bike that I've borrowed. And then literally just the biggest pile of junk. So there is like a Wendy house, which one of my friends was meant to be having but never came to collect. There's the trailer that we use when we're camping or at festivals. The Bounce and Spin Zebra again saved that for a friend and then they decided they didn't need it. Bike wheels. I mean, oh, Chloe's bike is there underneath that pile. It's no wonder the kids never get their bikes out. Tough spot. Random garden furniture. I actually can't move from where I'm stood because there is so much stuff. Hello, as Clet said, I'm doing the garage, so I'm gonna go and pick up some bits, pick up some brackets, some sealant, some bike hooks, and something else that I've forgotten, but I'm sure I'll remember. Now Dave, is this a job that's gonna be done in a day? I will get as much as I get done today, today. I wonder if it's gonna be one of those jobs where I go, oh, I didn't think it was that big a job and it takes weeks. Uh, I actually think maybe. it's a huge job. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I hope... Oh, you've ordered everything, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've ordered everything. Well, at least we know everything's in stock then. Good luck! See ya! Bye, Dave! Back from the shops. So, I've got some uh, things to help with today's task. And they are uh, some heavy-duty hooks, which I'm going to use to hang something on the wall. Got some screws for help with the shelves. Got some sealant for sealing around the doors. Got some big old brackets for putting up the shelf above where the bikes are going to go. And then we've got a number of bike hooks for putting all our bikes on the wall. So you might have seen before when Colette was talking to you that there's quite a lot of stuff in the garage. That is in no way an understatement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move everything out of the garage into the utility to free up space so that I can put up some big shelves on that wall there.
Okay, so about 10 minutes in and I've cleared quite a bit of stuff out of the way. So now I can actually get to the wall where I need to put up my shelves. So now it's time to do some drilling and then put up some shelves and start putting some stuff on them. So now that I've cut my two bits of shelf to the right size, I'm now going to hoover up because otherwise Colette will kill me. kids party and this is what I can see. New shelves, lots of space, Dave has moved everything into the utility which has made me feel a little bit stressed but he's now sorting it all out. So yeah my utility looks good now doesn't it Dave? Yes it does. Three bikes on the wall, <laughs> whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. Lots of stuff on the shelf. <laughs> yeah, so Dave has put in these shelves at the top here which have mainly got um, the wedding bunting from earlier which we just rock out at any possible occasion. Camping stuff, Thomas's bed which, you know, maybe we'll get a puppy for one day, Dave. No. Sledge which has never been used since we bought it because it doesn't snow anymore. And three bikes. My bike which actually belongs to my sister, Dave's normal bike and his posh new bike. And some space on the floor. How are you doing? All right, there's still lots to do. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stick the other the kids' bikes up, which I'm not sure there's enough space for. I was going to say, are they going to fit in there? I can sort of stagger them so I can fit them. Okay, tell me in a minute. The kids are outside on their scooters at the minute. So I can stagger them so I can fit them in a bit tighter, but yeah, it's getting a bit... Snug. They've got to be easy to get back off again though, haven't they? Yeah. So we've basically still got all these shelves here which now need sorting out um, so like stuff can go back on them. Officially this is meant to be a space here for a tumble dryer but it's never quite happened and I don't think you really agree with that. What's that? These are some big beasting hooks which is what the trailer... Beasting hooks? Yes. <laughs> As in like a beasting, not like bee sting. No like beasting like ah! Yeah yeah, yeah look at the size of them. Yeah, <laughs> I've what? never heard... is that what they're actually called or have you made that up? It's, no, that's not the name of it, I'm just saying big beast in hook. Anyway, just so we can hang the big trailer on, because that's going to go up there. Alright, so the camping the camping trailer's going up there on those? Yeah, it's going to go there, basically. Uh-huh. Sit there. And then my thought is for, you can get even bigger hooks, and then my thought is that I'm going to put them up there. By them, he means the ladders that we have, big, like, sort of quad so folding ladders. these big ladders that we use for painting the awkward spaces and that my dad created. And they can house. go up there. And the, the the hooks I've got in mind are actually big enough to put that on and the other set of ladders in front of them. So so basically everything's going to be hanging on the wall, which is all well and good until we pile loads more crap on the floor and can't get to any of it. Well, what else do you want to do? <laughs> what else do you want to we do? need to just make sure we don't pile stuff on, don't we? That, so that'd help. so right now this is this is where we're at, and I'm just making Dave some coffee because that's pretty much my contribution to this this situation right now. You ready for brewing a biscuit? Yeah. Okay, then. So Dave has spent the entire day in the garage yeah. at the tip, at Halfords, at... Screwfix. Screwfix. Buying things, drilling things, cleaning things, getting rid of things, and now we can dance <laughs> in the garage. Let me show you what he's done. You're pleased with yourself? Not yeah. <laughs> So we've got new shelves up there. We have five of the six bikes hanging on the wall. He's just shown me how easy they are to take off and then swore because it wasn't quite as easy as we hoped but still way more accessible than it was before. So bikes 
some scooters down there that the kids can get to. This, um, what barbecue. is it? Barbecue is probably going to just move over into that space, we think. Um, bikes there that need sorted out still. And then stuff on shelves, that's all DIY stuff and gardening things. I think that we can actually get to now because Dave loves doing DIY, don't you, darling? I love it. And then the lawnmower, which hopefully we'll get rid of this year because we're going to get an artificial lawn. And then a lot of paint, some of which we probably don't need. But anyway, all the paint in the world. And the kids' boots, tent up off the floor, camping trailer. And then there's these ladders here, which I think Dave's hoping to put up on that space there. So now, if you think what I showed you before, well, camera shadow, this is now the floor in our garage. There is actually a lot of room we can get in and we can get things. So, job well done, Dave. What's next on the list? Sleep. Ah, uh, sleep and pizza. Yeah. The garage, done. <laughs>